Right, here we are, hole number two, guys. Now, what I'm going to try to do here is just a little bit more aggressive approach. Now, I don't necessarily recommend this shot. Do check out my other guide. I think that's a very good way to play it. This is pretty tough to pull off, but you'll see with what I'm trying to do. I'm going to try to land here with a lot of curl. So there's five rings. I'm thinking somewhere in the neighborhood of nine, ten rings, somewhere in here. So nine, ten rings, like I said, and you will just need to be somewhat pretty close to perfect ball because you do have to kind of aggressively land towards the left there to get this over enough. So you'll see um, I missed to the right here. Um, I'd kind of rather miss or to the left. I'd kind of rather overhook this than hang it out and leave it in this bunker. This really cuts you off, kind of takes away your angle. Um, so it is nicer to kind of get that over one to the other side. Now, what I did bring is I brought my machete and um, Houdini. I'm kind of split on this hole. If you do keep it on the right-hand side and you can't get it over to the left enough, um, it's better to have Houdini and machete. However, if you get to this left-hand side, there's a very good chance that you can roll in a Nirvana 8. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like torn as to exactly what to do over here because, you know, of, of those two shot types, you know, I do think that, you know, maybe the Nirvana from this angle may just be fractionally e easier. However, here you'll see, you know, I'm thinking somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe two per ring, something like that. And what I'll typically try to do is just try to back this up into the hole. So we will need to play some wind effect. So I'm thinking of landing somewhere around here. And as I mentioned, you know, I'm thinking in the neighborhood of two-ish per ring. But I'm going to go just a hair more. I'm thinking, you know, five and a half-ish rings in this situation. 5.6, somewhere in there. It looks like I caught a great ball anyway. Hopefully that's too much of a ring adjustment. Actually, it's... Wow, wow. How is it? So it must be... Must have been like three and a half on the rings. That's what? Three per ring? So that's trying to tell me that it was three-ish per ring. And I'm not sure why. Maybe my accuracy isn't quite what I thought it was. But we'll check. I'm going to go check. I do think I had, what, a, a machete 9 instead of a 10. <clears throat> so I don't know if that's a difference maker or not. But I'm going to just go out and at least check to see <clears throat> why I may have just overplayed that significantly. But it's something that you can get dialed in and, you know, you can back into the hole with a perfect ball. So it's something to be thinking about as to, you know, bring as your club of choice. And, you know, hopefully you're able to, to, you know, make something happen on this one. Because it is a good opportunity for Eagle. Especially if you can get it up there. So let me just go out to the bag real quick. Check that machete. Oh, it is a 10. It's 94 in the accuracy. I can't believe that it was, you know, th maybe three and a half per ring. I probably should have only went, you know, three total there or something. So, <clears throat> You know, but at least it gives you a starting point. You, you, you know what to kind of be looking for. Um, good luck with that hole, guys. And uh, see you guys on the next one.